and welcome to the Bumper Business Stories podcast. I'm your host, Talula Dohoti Aditono. Now, you may be wondering, what is Bumper? Well, think of Bumper as your e-commerce best friend, giving you everything you need to start and grow your sales, both online and offline, with a business website, inventory tracking, analytics, and a whole lot more. Check it out at www getbumper.com. Now on to today's guest who I'm so excited about because I'm a personal fan. I follow her on almost all of her social media platforms. She is Laefa Ebitomo and she is not only she an influencer, she's also a successful businesswoman. She's the founder of Merak Cosmetics and Laefa Luxury Hair. Laefa, so nice to have you on the podcast. Hi, Talula. That was such a very super big <laughs> introduction it's nice to be here thank you for having me oh i'm so so happy that you're here i love how you if you can't if you're listening in she's wearing a beautiful pink dress so i love that as well thank you let's talk about you your business journey especially you know uh from being a makeup artist and influencer one of our top influencers in nigeria thank you. to now you know founding merak cosmetics and laefa luxury hair how do those two businesses come about I've always loved anything beauty, makeup, hair. My mom used to have a salon when I was younger, so I was always there. So I've always had that love for makeup, hair. So it wasn't surprising that I actually got here, but it started off with makeup. Okay. And then I've always been a big believer you should have different sources of income. Definitely. If money's not coming from here, it's definitely coming from here. <laughs> so and the hair and makeup, they go hand in hand. If you want to do makeup, you definitely make sure your hair is laid definitely all the way together so i just felt like they'd go hand in hand so it made sense to go into hair sales so yeah i love that i love that and i like the way you did it because a lot of people who come out with makeup lines or either like a lip gloss or you know but you went with an under eye setting powder as your first product tell me the strategy and the thinking behind going for the under eye setting powder as your first product before i proceed i would like to mention that i have a partner so okay. cosmetics was founded by both of us okay so i just wanted as a makeup artist it's different because you're a makeup artist so you know what's missing in the makeup industry so me being a makeup artist and having a makeup brand it makes sense because i can tell from a consumer point of view what is lacking what people are looking for that's not there. And I just thought to myself that lip gloss, everybody's doing lip gloss. Yeah, it's common. I wanted to do something <laughs> that is not on the market yet and a really good one at that. Like, it took me years testing out the first product that we, we released to get the right quality that I was aiming for. And yeah, so I don't like to do things that other people are doing. <laughs> yeah, he's different. <laughs> I like to be different. So I did my research and yeah, that's basically it. That's amazing. I think yeah. I'm super proud of you because you. from being a makeup artist to a business owner, it's kind of a different skill set in yes, a way. So it, it really is. It really <laughs> is different. It's very, very different. Yeah. Like I had to learn so many things along the way, but it made me understand things from both the consumer and the brand owner. So yeah. like that's why even when I work with my influencers, I'm also an influencer. So I know how it is from the side of an influencer and from the side of a brand owner. So I think that's what helps. <laughs> no, I'm even wearing the under eye setting powder today. You are? My makeup artist, I was like, I'm seeing Laefa and she has it in her kit. So I was like, <laughs> make sure you bring out the <laughs> Merak. It makes me so happy when people tell yes, me. Yes. I my makeup and I saw Merak in her kit. It makes me so happy. Like it gives me butterflies. It's Aww. So Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're doing so, so well. Thank Let's you. talk about your business partner because sometimes people think, okay, I just want to be a solo founder. I want to do it on my own. But you obviously have a business uh, partner who handles, you know, a different side of the business from yeah. you. So how are you able to find the person? Person, connect with the person and what skill set does that person have that you feel is complementary to your own skill set? To be honest, I was very skeptical about having a partner because I always wanted to go that route, but I wanted to do it myself, life, uh, cosmetics. That was the dream. But I have a ton of businesses, like you said, and balancing it out is can become very tricky sometimes. And having a partner, it wasn't what I wanted, but they say two two heads are better than one most and definitely she's great at this part i'm great at this part and the two of us mixed together just makes a very beautiful cocktail like mm -hmm. she's she's very good with the admin side of things she's very good with research like most of our vendors she's the one that and she's very patient 
I lack patience and <laughs> she has that patience. So like we just rub together really nicely. She, she I'm the makeup artist. So like I'm the one that tests out all the products. Okay. So I'm the one that makes does like quality control basically. Mm-hmm. And she does like she's tech, she's into tech. Okay. So she, she's not just... computer engineering. So she's very good at the website. Like she's the one that did all our websites, so things like that. Like two of us together makes it. I know people are very skeptical about having partners, but if you find the right partner, yeah, I feel like you do because Mirak is just a year old and really, for years. some reason, I thought it was like three or four years no. old. I think because I I feel like I'm I see it everywhere, <laughs> so that's what it is. Like the the visibility of the brand is yeah. so good. Thank you, thank you so much. I feel like it's because, like I said, two heads are better than one. Both of us together, working together, it makes it faster than if it was just me yeah so when i'm slacking she's picking up the slack when when she's slacking i'm picking up the slack so it just works really well very symbiotic relationship oh i love that well. i feel like it's <laughs> Thank so encouraging i feel like it's so encouraging to other people who may be listening and watching and thinking oh i want to have a partner but i'm you know your people get scared like you said yes. like i'm not sure how i would fight with somebody else especially when it comes to business and there's money involved and all of that so i just i feel like that's encouraging yeah that I mean, you're able to make it work i will say is i feel like the reason why a lot of people are skeptical about it is because of the relationship you have with the person that you decide to go on that partnership with yeah. i feel like that's really important because like we're friends but no we're not very we're not very close friends mm-hmm. so like there's this professionalism mm. in our partnership that is not just friendship mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i feel like that's really important because if we're, we're just being friendly 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 the business is suffering yeah like there's professionalism among the both of us the... and that, that really keeps it going okay smoothly. fantastic i love that thank you so much for sharing i think that's <laughs> a very very oh, useful God. tip now i want to share a story okay about when I first met you, uh, it was at an event and um, it was all about like, I think it was women in business or something along those lines. And I met you, you were so friendly, so lovely. And you had so many, and you still have so many fans and your fans are so like loyal, (laughs) adoring. They love you. The people are just coming up to Laif. I was like, oh my God, Laif, oh my God, Laif. They're like, Laif, I need to see, I want to take pictures. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like the connection they obviously had with you was so genuine, so special and so real. So I want to talk about that. Like how you've been able to cultivate a following as an influencer, as a business owner as well, how you're able to connect with your fans and also keep that, you know, two-way relationship alive. Because I know there's a lot of business owners who want to have that relationship with their clients, but they're not able to make that type of connection. Before I proceed, I want to say that you too, when I met you, like, it's very hard for me to connect with people. I'm friendly, but I'm also shy. But meeting you is so easy. Like, you are always all smiles. Like, every time I see you, you're always smiling. Very fun, blushing. Very approachable <laughs> and very friendly. Thank so, you. I feel like... When I started my YouTube journey, because all this started from, okay, you know, it started from makeup before I, I branched into YouTube. But when I started my YouTube, I was all serious, like, yes, this is the pencil. This is the brush. <laughs> <laughs> I was very professional, but I feel like when I started to kick off was when I became relatable. People feel like they know you when you're being relatable to them. When you, when you, when you, when you're real, yeah. when you make them feel like, what you're experiencing, I experienced it too. My life isn't as perfect as you think it is because you're seeing me in front of your camera. Yeah. So I feel like that made me relatable and that made me build a community of people that they they understand. So that make that makes them love me and trust me. So when I when I decided to have a brand of my own, it, it, it made them trust me enough to want to buy from my brand mm-hmm. because they feel like this is my friend. I know what's going on with her. I know <laughs> yes. her mom. I know her sisters. Uh, I, I, I can understand. Dobra, Dobra. Your mom. Your mom is so cute. And I love when you make her this for her. Uh. <laughs> she's, she's the best. She's so funny. <laughs> she has her own fans. Their I am one of fan them. fan club <laughs> of the girlies. So I feel like that helped when I, when I, when I had a brand because there's a face to the brand. Yes. That they, they believe and they trust mm-hmm. and they 
feel comfortable to patronize. Mm, interesting. And how do you stay consistent with your social media? I know we were just talking about this. Um, because it's difficult. Everybody it's wants difficult. to be an influencer. Everybody wants to connect and to put their lives out there. But I think when you start creating content is when you realize that it's actually uh, like a whole job a whole other hustle it's not something you can just do today not do tomorrow if you're trying to be serious about it yes. so how have you been able to create a whole career really out of it i will say that god <laughs> i know it's very cliche but i i, I never mean so when i see that god really is at the center of it all because sometimes when when i think of my life and how far god has brought me it can only be god it's not just my efforts Mm -hmm. I do a little and that little God's grace makes it seem like it's this really big thing, you yeah. know? So I will say that being consistent, because there are days that I don't feel like, <laughs> you know, emotions come into it. Maybe yes. something is going on in your life. You of don't course. want to show up, but you just have to keep showing up because a little here, a little there, it adds up. Because there are people that see me today and they think, I've been like this since. But there was a time when no one knew me. <laughs> there was a time I was doing videos that were not doing well. Yes. But I kept at it. So imagine if because my videos weren't doing well, then I stopped. I wouldn't be here to do this today. So a yeah. little here, a little there, and all these things add up. And you can't be lazy. <laughs> and you really have to be passionate about what is you do. So I'm really passionate about this. So I can tell. That's what makes me able to keep showing up. Yeah. Every yeah. time. So imagine if it wasn't something I was passionate about. When I don't feel like it, there's uh, no motivation to show up. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. You would just be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then yes. tomorrow it would turn then, into another day exactly, and all of that. Yeah, so procrastinating and time has gone. Yes, yes. I'm happy you said that about being passionate. Because I think people think of YouTubers and, oh, AdSense says yes. YouTube checks. People just think, the oh, checks. God, there's money. <laughs> Let me go do this thing. Ah. But when you come and then the money doesn't show up immediately, you just lose. Exactly. <laughs> you don't yes. want to go, keep going. Because I didn't make money on YouTube to like, a good one year oh wow yes so imagine if I, I was just doing it because oh i heard there's dollars to be made on this youtube platform but it was the passion that made me keep putting out content before brands they're reaching out to me and then youtube started paying so it's you have to till your soil it's gradual it's you have to gradual. what are they sowing and reaping exactly. right so it's that whole that whole adage before your harvest comes in amen sister amen <laughs> amen <laughs> Want to scale your business sales this year? Then get the number one sales app for businesses today, Bumper, and you'll never struggle with running, managing, closing, or tracking your sales ever again. It has all the powerful solutions your business needs to run sales easy. A fully functional website, business analytics, discounts and coupons creator, inventory tracking, and CRM tool for sending emails and SMS to your customers all in one place. And here's a neat trick. You can connect your Instagram to your Bumper app and start closing sales two times faster. And no, I'm not done. If you run a big business with staff, you can monitor the activities and delegate tasks to them, especially if you receive a lot of orders. You can also restrict their roles and what they see on your store. You can get started now with just 2,500 Naira for the Bumper starter plan or 5,000 Naira for the Bumper Pro plan. Download the Bumper app on the Apple Store or Play Store and subscribe to take your business to the next level this year. So let's talk about technology because okay. Bumper is a tech company. Um, how have you been able to sort of leverage technology in your business? I know you mentioned that your business partner is a, like a computer scientist. Yeah, she's a tech girl. A techie, I love yeah. it. Um, yeah, so have you been able to do that to ensure you know your you know your data, your numbers, and just to keep track with all the sort of back-end parts of your business? Um, definitely. Well, past the days of using Byron and people have to keep track <laughs> of everything. So, so we have an e-commerce platform that we use to keep inventory of all our stock, the sales that come in. So we just record everything there because inventory and record keeping is so, so, so important in your business, especially yes. if you have staff. Of course, working, you, know, you can keep track so they don't steal from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's very important to take care of that side of things because it really helps to know if your business is going well. You can look at your websites, your e-commerce platform, whatever it is that you're using to keep track of your business. 
the losses, <laughs> you know, what's what is selling, what people, what do people like, yes. what are people buying more of. Mm-hmm. So you need all this to know where you're focusing your ads more. Like let's True. say this product is doing better, you know that this this should be the product that, and it, it also helps in when we to like resupply when we when we're when running out we know what to order more of okay yes because this this is the product that people really go for so you need to order more of this and then people are not really going for this one you want to check with your others like what do you think of this product so mm. you know maybe they don't like this product so you know whether you're not reproducing or you're making it better okay and okay so all, all this helps for a different like reasons. decision making yeah, and all yeah, of that. Exactly. Yeah, it's very important. It's I, very right. Because I feel like it's business business people. We need to know our numbers. And sometimes exactly. we're just doing the business on vibes. I know I've been there. Do my <laughs> business. Ah, I like this. I like this. I'm gonna order a lot of this. And I may like it. Other people may not be exactly. so excited about it, right? Exactly. So one has to really look into the back end, which is yes. why a website is so important, such as Bumper or any other provider. But you know, I'm a bumper girl. So, bumper girl for life. <laughs> yes. So yes. Uh, let's talk about balance you know maintaining a work-life balance because i know as an influencer as an entrepreneur it's so much work and it's easy to get swept away in just trying to grow and trying to achieve more and more and more milestones but how do you balance it with like your social life your boo family everything else that you have going on i'm not even gonna lie i think i'm still working on balancing my work and my family but i have a very amazing support system that they get it because this is the period to hustle so yes I, i'm not working till i'm 90. <laughs> i'm a bit of a workaholic to be very honest but i try to de- i definitely try to make time for the boo for my my sister my family i don't believe in my family at all so like i prioritize my immediate family more to be very honest because okay. like but for my friends i still try to maybe maybe two weeks i'll say okay let's let's have lunch mm, mm-hmm. you know so it's not like i'm not keeping tabs on because no man's an island Even as much as you're working hard you still need to make time for your people because when you need them and you were not there when they needed you true that's it's hard yeah yeah. Really hard. yeah 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 so i just try it's a journey it's a work in progress for me to yeah this, but i just keep at it i'm happy you're saying this because i feel like sometimes like you look like you've got it all together i was I like i like, just got it perfectly <laughs> that's why i'm saying it like <laughs> i'm working on it I, I i make a conscious effort to put in the work to be intentional you have to be intentional yeah you're intentional about it you just find yourself alone one day and you wonder how you got how there. you got there yeah i agree i agree and really really good advice like if you're dropping all the I'm all the truth gems. bombs <laughs> left and right left and right i love it let's talk about your customers your clients how do you keep them happy because as a business owner we, we know that returning clients are really really important yeah. just to keep the cash flow up and your business afloat so yeah. how are you able to ensure that every client gets that special lie for touch you know i was just saying i want to come and do makeup but unless it is with you i'm not doing it i mean i'm sure your girls are great but i want you so how do you satisfy clients like me who can be quite demanding <laughs> One thing I will say is for my own brand, I I know that it's people are particular, money is important, but I try to make every client that comes have a good experience that will make them want to refer me to someone else. So I I don't just focus on just do the makeup quickly so you can go like, I like, I'm like, I'm like a therapist (laughs) when I'm doing, when I'm working with my clients, like I just like to gauge their reactions, see how they're doing. And so many times I've been a therapist for my clients Mm. and they're actually going through something and that one hour, two hours they've spent with me. I just try to, you know, see how they are. I don't want them to leave the same way that they came. So it's more than just the makeup. It's more than just you patronizing my brand it's i like to add that personal touch to it that will make you remember me you know yeah so it's not just do the makeup and go buy the makeup and go yeah i just just need your money i like to that's like that's my vision for like my brand and i always tell that's my 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 staff like it's not just doing the makeup make sure that your client leaves you happy yeah because that's what will make her want to come back and make that that's that community i was talking about yes you have to build that community I love your intentionality, like you said, and the fact that you're even thinking this way. Because people say, like, when you're in the makeup artist chair, you're in the um, hairstylist chair, that is therapy for women. You know, us women, we love beauty. We just want to relax. It's our time out. Makeup or hair, they just want to. 
like that that state they're in when they're getting their hair yes, done yes. is like it's different it's different know. once you sit in that chair especially when it's someone you trust like exactly. someone you go to you regularly yeah you must know a lot of secrets i it's, do okay after the that's podcast you tell me <laughs> no, 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 no. that's for me, <laughs> that's for me okay fair enough discretion discretion yes, i love it i love it important. extremely important extremely important so i want to talk about advice now you would give to someone aspiring you have so many amazing women out there who look up to you who say they want to be just like you whether it's by becoming a makeup artist a business owner or even a content creator and an influencer so what advice would you give to them to help them start and grow on their own journey i would say that i always tell people be sure that's what you really want don't do it because other people are doing it or you think that there's money in this industry so let me go there do it because it's something that you actually love so something that you're passionate about i know i said it before but it has to be something you're passionate about because when you're passionate about something you eat it you breathe it you like everything you want to put your best into it you want to keep working on it because for me i've been in this game for years now and there are some people that when i we stay together they're not here anymore like it's something that you have to keep showing up you have to keep improving your skill yeah. getting better researching knowing how to improve because if you do and if that passion is not there if that love is not there you will not you will not be motivated to want to be better mm. and in your being better you get better and you are not a story of has been that's like the very big fear in yeah. this industry you don't want to be has been no you don't want to be oh she used to be good that year mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you want to keep showing up you want to keep improving yourself so don't ever feel like I'm on top of my game. Mm-hmm. You now chill. Mm-hmm. You now relax. You have to keep improving on yourself, on yourself, not even just your your career, yourself, personal growth. You have to work on personal growth because the me you saw when we met, I'm sure that it's not the me you're seeing now. Yes, like true. I was very shy. I could not talk the way my mouth is just moving <laughs> right now. <laughs> so that's something that I have to work on because you are also a brand. You true. yourself. It's not yeah. just the work that you're doing you're yeah. also a brand so you need to work on your personal growth and i will say this as my last advice i know it's, people keep, people make it seem like this girl yes yeah jesus baby but yes i am a jesus baby put god first and every other thing will be added onto you like ask and you shall receive it's not just a word in the bible if you ask you will receive so even if you feel like i'm not so good with my brows for instance pray to god god this is brows i know like you help me <laughs> holy ghost help me and then you now work on it god's covering will make you get it so i feel like put god first and this guy is your starting point hey mm-hmm. i love it i love it like if I, I feel like you're speaking to me personally in some of these things that you're saying i feel so inspired i'm serious <laughs> like if it's giving me the side eye but i'm actually Talibar. serious i feel inspired to go back to the drawing board and be intentional like you yeah, said like what well, like what do i want to achieve how do i want to you know grow um so to everybody out there who's also listening and watching you guys should actually take life as advice because it's impactful and it look look at her look at where she is it's clearly worked for her so we can learn a thing or two like thank you so much for thank making you. time to come and chill with us on the bumper business stories podcast before we let you go yes. we have a game okay. that we play okay you didn't tell me this this is the setup there is a lovely surprise for okay. you it's called the bumper e-commerce trivia challenge i'll ask you a series of questions okay. relating to e-commerce they're multiple okay. choice questions okay. and i would like you to tell me what you think is the answer okay very straightforward all right so question number one what does the term drop shipping refer to in e-commerce is it a a pricing strategy for reducing product prices, B, a method of inventory management, C, a type of online advertising campaign, or D, a fulfillment method where the retailer doesn't keep stock. Dropshipping that I know is when you want to order and you have the supplier send it to the person instead of sending it to you first. Yes. So is it A, B, C, or D? any of these things you're calling right now. (laughs) Fulfillment. Is that your final answer? <laughs> fulfillment. Yes, you're right. Oh. It's fulfillment method where the retailer doesn't keep stock because they order it directly from the yeah. manufacturer. All right. So that's one out of four. Okay. We're doing well. <laughs> Question number two. 
Which social media platform is known for its short form video content and is popular amongst e-commerce businesses for showcasing products? Okay. Is it A, Facebook, B, Twitter, C, TikTok, or D, LinkedIn? TikTok. Are you sure? TikTok. Yes, you're very right. <laughs> Ah, oh, I almost got you there, but I didn't. Well done, well done, <laughs> well done. Me off. Never, never. Okay, third question. What is the word used to describe a marketing technique that encourages customers to promote a product or brand to their friends and family? Is it A, affiliate marketing, B, viral marketing, C, referral marketing, or D, content marketing? Sorry, what's the first one? Affiliates marketing. Affiliates marketing. That's the answer. Is that your final answer? Mm -hmm. You're wrong. Mm. It is referral marketing. It's affiliates. It's referral, my darling. Are you serious? Yes. Mm. Don't worry. Don't worry. So we still got one more to go. Okay. What does the acronym API? This one is hard. Sorry. (laughs) What What does API stand for in the context of e-commerce? Is it a automated payment integration? B, advanced product inventory, C, application programming interface, or D, automated payment integration? Chloe. (laughs) Number one, no, A. A. No. It's application programming interface. (sighs) Sorry. But you did really well. Two out of four. That's so bad. It's still... (laughs) That's it's definitely pa- it's, it's oh past mark. Past. It's past mark. It's past so mark. Bad. So you've done so well, Aifa. Thank, thank you so much for coming on Bumper Business Stories, for so sharing much. your story, for being such a delight, and also just for lighting up our YouTube continuously. Wishing you a lot more success, more brand deals, and more dollars. Amen. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.